Um, oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Did I take the opportunity to wish you a very happy new year? No. No, no, no. So this is my chance, ladies and gentlemen, a very happy new year. When the year begins, people take a lot of opportunity to make different resolutions of various types. And one of my resolutions this year was to make a lesson for you that will help you understand certain words that you should not mis mispronounce this year. I welcome you all to today's lesson, which is all about do not mispronounce these words in 2021. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. first word that we have on the list is E-S-P-R-E-S-S-O. -S -S -O. It is a type of a coffee. Um, it's a coffee shot, dark coffee shot, very bitter in taste. It is pronounced as S-P-R-E-S-S-O. Please repeat after me, Espresso. The next word in the list is something that you wear, ornaments that you wear. This is pronounced as jewelry. Please repeat after me, jewelry not jewelry, it is jewelry. Although the people think that, oh, this is such a basic word, I pronounce it absolutely correctly, very confidently. But the moment you see the word, pause the video, think how the, just see how you pronounce it, and then match it with the words uh, pronunciation that we have here. Next one is, this word is actually not mispronounced by people, but people have a lot of inhibitions and underconfidence when they pronounce it. They think they're saying it wrongly. Is it often or is it often? It is both. Both are correct. Let me break this myth for you and I'm going to be putting a star at it. Let me break this myth for you. Both, both the pronunciations are correct. It is both often and often. Something that you do, it's an adverb of frequency. Something that you do uh, uh, more than sometimes, that's often. Next one is it is a type of a dish that you often found in restaurants. It is bread, and on top of it, there are various sorts of fillings, etc., toppings, etc. And it is pronounced as bruschetta. A lot of people pronounce it as bruschetta. It is not bruschetta, it is bruschetta. Please repeat after me, bruschetta. The next one in the list is Mojito, it is a type of a drink. Sometimes al alcoholic, sometimes non-alcoholic. We pronounce it as Mojito. If you have a friend called Mohit, just add O in front of his name and it changes to Mohit, O, Mojito. One more time, Mojito. But the T here is the T sound. The next one in the list is G-I-F. I'm sure that a lot of you around the world would pronounce it as G-I-F but the person who actually invented it, just watch the video of that person on internet. That person himself calls this word, it's a noun. So it was that person's prerogative and right to call it the way he wanted to. And the person decided to call it as GIF. It's not G-I-F, it is GIF. So the next time when, when you uh, sense a funny G-I-F to someone, do not call it G-I-F, G-I-F, it is <whistles> GIF. The next word in the list is V-A-L-E-T, L-E-T. What is this? It is a type of a service that you often found at uh, hotels. You go to a hotel in your car and you give the keys of your car, supposedly, to a person who is standing there to park your car. That service is called valet. Please, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people pronouncing it as valet, valet, various sorts of pronunciation, but it is Val A. Please repeat after me. Valet. The next one in, in the list is a very sweet thingy that I like quite a lot. And it is pronounced as ca r mul Please repeat after me. Caramel. Caramel. One more time. Caramel. And the next one in the list is when you wish somebody happy meal, what do you say? Bon appetit or bon appetite. It is, the right pronunciation is bo, bo, napati. Please repeat after me, bon appetit. It is not bon appetit, it is bon appetit. Bon appetit. 
The next one on the list is something that you find at airports to relax, to loosen up your nerves, etc. It is not launch. No matter how many times you see the word, it the 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 reflex is natural reaction is people call it launch, not launch, lounge. One more time, lounge. The next one is a grain that has a lot of protein in it. People who are building muscles, they like to eat this uh, grain. And what do we call it? It's called quinoa. People call it quinoa. Quinoa, not quinoa. It is quinoa. One more time. Quinoa. One last time. Quinoa. This was about the first list. Let's quickly say them one by one. Please repeat after me. I'm going to be saying them. Espresso. Jewelry. Often. Often. Bruschetta. Bruschetta. Mojito. Jiff. Valet. Caramel. I can hear you. Keep on repeating. Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. Happy meal. Lounge. And Quinoa. Let's look at the second list that we have. The first word in the list is D-R-A-U-G-H-T. Let's first understand its meaning. D-R-A-U-G-H-T has two meanings. Number one is when a sudden cool air touches your body, that's when you call it this word. That's when we say it is this, this word particularly. And another meaning of this particular word is primarily when you inhale something or when you quickly drink something. That's when you use this word. The pronunciation is draft. People often mispronounce this word as drought. Please do not misunderstand this word with drought. That's a completely different meaning. This word has two meanings which we spoke about and is draft. Next one is something that you get in return of the bill that you pay. Receipt. Please repeat after me. Receipt. Next one is not determine. Basically having strong willpower. It is determine. Another important thing, we do not pronounce the R here. We say determine. Next one is speaking on spot. When somebody suddenly asks you to speak on spot on a topic, it can be at office or at a wedding or in a group discussion, etc. That is called, that speech, that speaking pattern is called extempore. Extempore. Please repeat after me. Extem, extempore. Actually, there's a P as well here, so I'm going to be writing it here. Extempore. Next one is, how do we pronounce it? Violin. Please repeat after me. Violin. One more time. Violin. Next one is, oh my God, very commonly mispronounced word. Video. 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 Please repeat after me. Video. Vidya. Oh, do you have a friend called Vidya? Yeah, it can, can as well be derived from there. Video. One more time. Video. Next one is monk. Is it monk? It is monk. It is a priest. This sound actually is similar to the sound in the word spunk. What is it? Unk. Monk. It is not monk. Monk. A priest, a Buddhist a priest is called a monk. Next one is very commonly misunderstood with hurt. When somebody hurts your feeling, it is not hurt, it is heart. One more time, heart. There's a long ah sound in it. Heart. Next one is, it is a utensil of a sort and you put things in it to eat, right? Is it bowl or bowl? Please repeat after me. Bowl. The next one in the list is my favorite. Pizza or pizza. Please repeat after me. Pizza, not pizza. It is pizza. Very important. Very, very important. We use it in daily life, right? I like pizza. And immediately anybody can judge and tell the level of our English. Pizza. And finally, we have polis. Is it polis? Or is it police? Please repeat after me once again. Police. Okie dokie. And finally, it is, what is our YouTube audience like? It is gorgeous. What is it? Gorgeous. One more time. Or, uh. 
gorgeous, please repeat after me once, one, one last time, gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, this was about all the words that we have. But before we end the lesson, let's quickly revise them all. Please repeat after me. Draft, receipt, determine, extempore, violin, video, there's an O oh in the end. Video, monk, heart, bowl, pizza, police, police, and gorgeous. One more time, gorgeous. This is about all the words that we have in today's lesson that you should make sure that you do not mispronounce the next time when you use these words in 2021. I take this opportunity once again to wish you a very happy new year, lots of good health, lot of wealth, and most importantly, a meaningful life. Lots of love again. See you soon.